Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. This is Wild Moment. I'm your host, Frank Constant, and today we're number four of the five-part series to Rain Denial. Today, we're talking about reading. That's right, folks, reading the Word of God. Have you ever shopped at Ikea and bought a piece of furniture that had to be assembled when you get home? Well, folks, if you're anything like me, you probably looked at the picture on the box and started doing the assembly. And then when you get to the end, you find all these extra parts and you just chuck them to the side and you call them extra. Well, folks, they're not extras. And you would have known that just like I would have known that had we read the instructions. Well, folks, there is a way to keep the enemy off of you. There is a way to keep the enemy from gaining territory in your life. And you would know that if you read the instructions. And today we're talking about reading those instructions right here, right here, folks. On this episode, don't go away. Wild Moment starts now. Hi, I'm Karima with Word of Wisdom Ministry. Thank you for joining us today. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. And now for another inspiring episode of Wild Moment with our host, Frank Costin. Folks, We've been in this five-part series. Now we're at part four. Can you believe it? We're already at part four. Part one, we talked about praise. Part two, we talked about prayer. And part three, we talked about fasting. These are three powerful tools that we're putting in this toolbox that are going to help you stop the enemy from gaining territory in your life. Well, today, we're going to go right back and add another tool to the toolbox. And we're talking about studying God's word. That's right. Studying God's word. The word says, thy word have I hidden in my heart. We're going to talk about studying God's word. So I ask you right now to join with me. I'm watching with you. Let's turn to the screen and let's watch the previously recorded episode already in progress. Part one talked about praise. Praise is a weapon that we use because Satan is trying his hardest to bring us down from all of our hurts and all of our failures and everything that happens in our life that, that is not positive. There's some things that are going to happen in life that just don't feel positive. And Satan tries to come in and manipulate the situation and he tries to make you feel a certain way about it. And then we talked in week two about prayer. Prayer is that weapon that we can do as a collective body or we can do on our own, but it is such a powerful weapon. It is a powerful weapon and the best way to use that weapon to deny territory is to do just what the word says. The word says for us to pray without ceasing. Always be in a constant state of prayer. Always have your mind fixated on your God and always be in commune with him in communion, conversation, talking to your God. Number three, it talked about fasting. And I know that fasting is tough. I know. Listen, this flesh is so used to being catered to. This flesh is so used to getting its way. Fasting is such a it's such a it's such a hard thing because we don't ever want to tell the flesh no because that's telling ourselves no <laughs> that's really what it is but we have to tell ourselves no because the spirit of god wants to be the driving force in our life if we can feed the flesh when it cries out in hunger then we can feed the spirit because it's crying out just as much as the flesh now tonight Part four of Terrain Denial. Tonight, we're going to talk about studying God's word. When we study God's word, that is spiritual fitness. It is like going for a run or, or going into the gym and lifting weights. So tonight, uh, just keeping in the theme of the military and and keeping in the theme of terrain denial. Uh, if you notice, I've, I wore something that pertained to the military all this series and no different tonight. Tonight I have on uh, what was the Army PT uniform or physical fitness or physical training uniform when I was in the Army. I retired in 2012 and of course they have a different uniform now, but this is what they were when I was in. And what we did with this uniform is we got up in the morning and we went out and we did physical training. 
We did a lot of strenuous exercises to build up our physical bodies. And we also uh, quite often went on very long runs or sometimes short runs, but with the quicker speed. But we were always building on our physical body. See, we train all the time to be proficient in our jobs and, and in our soldier skills. We always train to be proficient in those areas. But as a soldier, we had to be a full circle, circle soldier. We had to have the full circle. We had to have all the pieces to the puzzle. So we always had to work on our physical bodies as well. Well, if we work on our physical bodies, if we can get up and go to the gym or we can go for walks and go to uh, out on the treadmill or go out on a run or ride bikes, if we can do all these things, then we need to put a pause on that and we need to work on our spiritual man. We need to study God's word. We need to get into God's word because that is the ultimate weapon. Listen, even when Jesus was tempted after his fast, it was the word that sent Satan packing. It was the word that he turned Satan away with. It was the word. So we have to use the word because Satan's ultimate goal is to get us to fall into sin. His temptations, his traps, his snares, they are all things to get us to fall from grace and fall into sin. But if we take God's word, like uh, Psalms 119 says in verse 11, it says, thy word have I hidden in my heart. But then it says that I may not sin against thee, that I might not sin against thee. That means that once that word is inside of my heart, and sin tries to come in and occupy my heart. There's simply no room for it. There is no room for sin because the word of God is in my heart. Now, when it says hide the word, that doesn't mean that we put it away and we don't use it or it's covered up. That means that it's in there. It's locked in. It's hidden in the deepest recesses of our heart. And there's nothing that can take it out. And we live by what we read. The word of God is a li living, breathing thing. We live by the word of God and the word of God breathes life into us every time we read it. Every time we read the word of God, it's breathing new life into us. It is a powerful, powerful, powerful tool. We must read God's word. We cannot be uh, naive to Satan's devices. We can't be ignorant to Satan's devices. We have to study God's words so we can know what his devices are. So like I was telling you before, he wants us to fall. So oftentimes he'll take our very pains, those people who hurt us, and we won't grant forgiveness. And when we don't grant forgiveness, now he has taken a hold of that heart. He's getting in there. So when we are hurting because of what someone did, if we just simply grant forgiveness, then we take the leverage away from him. And we can't be ignorant to his devices. And you'll find that in, in 2 Corinthians. You'll find where that has been discussed. We cannot be uh, falling prey to Satan's devices. We can't be ignorant. And listen, we are, we are without excuse. Because God has left his manuscript. He left his Bible. People say it's the basic instruction before leaving earth. It's a roadmap. It's a manuscript. It's, it's God's last will and testament. It is so many different things. It's a love letter from God. It is so many different things. But the ultimate thing that the Bible does for us, see, God went away to prepare a place for us. We've never been there. The only person that has ever come from heaven to the earth and went back to the to heaven is Jesus Christ himself. And we are trying to get to where he is. He knows that we've never been to heaven. He knows that we don't know how to get to heaven. He knows that we'd never find it in a million years. But he left us a map. He left us a road map to get back to heaven. He gave us instructions, clear instructions, 
But the only way you're going to know what those instructions are is if you study God's word. And see, Satan's goal is to get us to hell. The Bible says that hell enlarges herself daily. It never said that heaven enlarges itself. But hell enlarges itself daily because that is the path that mankind is choosing on a daily basis. Every day that people are dying on this earth and every day new people are being born on this earth and every day the choices are being made to choose sin over redemption. I choose redemption today, do you? Do you choose redemption? Choose that today. Walk with God today. Study his word. Study God's word. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Study God's word. Meditate on God's word. If you study God's word, you won't have to be ashamed of who your God is. You won't have to be ashamed of being a Christian. So many times, so often, we find Christians today that are taking this new posture that I, I really can't understand. You, please help me understand this. But we've taken on this new posture, and I say we because we are one body. We've taken on this new posture of not wanting to offend anyone. So the world can come and tell you about their experiences, and they gladly tell you. And they're not worried whether it offends you or not. And people who serve idol gods, they come and they tell you about their God. And they're not worried about whether it offends you or not. People worship idol gods and they have certain times that they are supposed to pray. And they will pray in your face. And they don't worry if it offends you or not. But often we find Christians will go and hide somewhere or do a whisper prayer because it, it, it has gotten to a point now where it's, I don't want to offend anyone. Uh, to me, that is not the fact. That is not the case. To me, it, it seems more of a little bit of shame. Uh, a, a little bit of shame to profess your belief. It's a little bit of shame to let the world know that you stand for Jesus Christ. A little bit of shame to let the world know that I'm not like you. I'm not doing those things that you do. I've been delivered from those things. I've been washed in the blood of the lamb. Sometimes you just have to stand up and let the world know who you are. You don't have to walk around shouting that out or, or, or being rude to people. That's not how this thing works. Your life is a testimony. Pray when it's time to pray. Do those things that when they see you, that they know that you are walking with the king. D don't be afraid to uh, study your Bible when it's maybe lunchtime on your job. Don't be afraid to pull out the Bible and study your Bible. Don't be afraid. You never know who will walk by and say, what is that you're reading? And, and they might want to come and, and hear uh, what does say the Lord. And you might be the very one that can win that soul. So put yourself in position by studying God's word, but not being ashamed. And then rightly dividing the word of truth. Rightly dividing. The only way you're going to rightly divide the word of truth is to know the word of truth. And the only way to know the word of truth is to study the word of truth. Read your word every day. So as I close tonight, before I go into prayer, I want to challenge each and every one of you. And let's do this challenge and let's do this challenge together. They say if you do something for 30 days straight, if you do something every day for 30 days straight, it becomes a habit. Well, let's do this. Let's read one chapter every day for the next 30 days. Let's do that. It doesn't matter if it's first thing in the morning, middle of the day or late at night, whatever, whatever fits you best in your schedule, but let's read one chapter from God's word every day for the next 30 days. And let's see what happens. Let's see if science is right. Let's see if we will have created a habit. Hello, everyone. I, I sure hope you're enjoying today's broadcast. If you would allow me, please, just to interrupt the broadcast just for a few moments. I want to talk to you today about what Wild Moment has to offer you. And before I get into telling you what we have, can I please tell you thank you? 
Thank you for being a viewer, and thank you for those of you who listen on podcasts. We want to say thank you, because if it wasn't for you, then what would the program be? Now, the program, Wild Moment, it is a television show. It is not a church. We are not here to uh, take anybody's membership or, or not here to pastor anyone, but we are here to just be your brother in Christ, to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with you. Folks, this is a television show that teaches the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, we also want to connect with you in prayer. So we want to offer, we solicit to you our prayers. So we're, we're, we're offering you our prayers. If you are standing in need of any type of prayer, please call us today or send us an email. All the information is on the screen. Call us today or send us an email because we would love to partner with you in prayer. We have seen God do the miraculous. Mountains move at the name of Jesus Christ, and we want to partner with you for whatever mountain, whatever circumstance you might be facing. Now, we also want to help you out if you're trying to find a church home. If you're having problems finding that church where God is directing you, we will join with you in prayer, but we will also help you in this process. You might not understand this church thing, or one church might not seem different than the other church, or you might not understand all of this stuff. We will help you with this process. Reach out to us today, and we will help you. We also want to give you the opportunity to decide what messages you hear on this television show, Wild Moment. This is a, a, a community effort here. We're allowing you to email us or send comments if you're struggling in an issue. If you're studying something and you want clarification, uh, if you just want to hear more in-depth or get more insight on a particular subject, well, you can email us or you can message us if you find us on social media, and we will take those comments or emails and we will put them in message format and we will deliver them as one of our television programs. So we are here to just communicate with you and to join with you. We want to partner with you in every aspect. We want to help you on your spiritual journey. We're like, we're, like I said, not here to take away from any church. We want to add, add to the church, enhance the church by giving you during the week something that you can hold on to to get you to another day. Now, we've moved from one network to Kingdom Purpose Television. That's right, folks. We are now on Kingdom Purpose TV. And what better place for us to be when we are operating in kingdom purpose? Everything we do, our every purpose that we do is kingdom purpose. We are kingdom-minded here on Wild Moment. And we're on Kingdom Purpose TV. Listen, Saturdays at 7 p.m., Saturdays at 7 p.m., you can go to kingdompurposetv.com and you can watch live there. Or if you have an Android or Apple, you can go to the store and you can get it from the app store and download the Kingdom Purpose TV app and catch us every Saturday. Listen, folks, every Saturday at 7 p.m., God has given us fresh frame of word, and we can't wait to share them with you. We can't wait. Every Saturday at 7 p.m., we can't wait to share the frame of word that God has given us with you. We thank you. We love you. Continue to watch. Continue to listen. We love it. We love it. We love it. And if you would like to donate, listen, we need all the help we can get to continue bringing the quality programming that God has allowed us to bring. So if you want to contribute to this quality programming, then please, the easiest and fastest way, you can either mail us something, but the easiest and fastest way is through Cash App. My name, dollar sign Frank Costin, dollar sign F-R-A-N-K-C-O-S-T-O-N. You can donate today. It doesn't matter the size. It doesn't matter what the size of the donation is. Everything helps, and we will continue bringing quality programming your way. We love you. God loves you. Now, let's continue with today's program. I hope you're enjoying this five-part series, Terrain Denial. This is the second time that I've played it here on Wild Moment, but this time we're bringing back the old videos 
and allowing you that never seen them before, and those of you who want to watch again, we're bringing them back so that we can touch again on this very necessary message, terrain denial. It is necessary that we put these tools in our toolbox and keep the enemy at bay. We talked about praise, the importance of giving God praise no matter what the circumstance. We talked about prayer, constantly staying in a state of prayer, keeping our mind on God always, and communicating with him always. And we talked about fasting, taking that time, setting that time aside to tell the flesh no and tell the spirit yes. Feed the spirit over the flesh and let the spirit speak to us clearly once we get into that place. Then today, studying God's word. I started off today and I talked about shopping at Ikea and buying a piece of furniture. <laughs> Listen, I'm not making jokes about it. If I buy the piece of furniture, I don't want to read those instructions and I see the picture and it's like, sure, I got all the tools necessary to do that. And I'll try to put it together just by visualization. Well, when I get to the end, folks, I didn't put the uh, piece of equip equipment together or the piece of furniture together properly. Therefore, I should have read the instructions. Well, same too with our souls. Same too with our souls. We cannot allow anyone or anything to distract us when we are reading the instructions for our life, God's word gives clear cut instructions on what we must do to be saved. Now, there are people that say that the book of Acts is some kind of narrative and it's an isolated event that took place in the upper room with the 120 souls. I will have to disagree with that. And so does the word of God. As a matter of fact, Jesus told Peter to feed his sheep. He also told Peter that upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell should not prevail against it. So any of those lies from the gates of hell, from the pits of hell that tell you anything other than what God's word says, I rebuke them right now because God's word says coming straight out of the mouth of Peter, who Jesus said, I'm building my church on at the first church. He said, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Jesus himself in John 3 and 5 said, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except the man be born of water and of spirit, you cannot enter into the kingdom. That same water and that same spirit is found in Acts, the second chapter. It's found all through the book of Acts. And now, if you don't know where to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, give us a call. Shoot us an email, comment, however you reach us, and we will get with you and help you find that place. If you're looking for that church home, we will help you find that church home today with that shepherd, that man of God, that God has called to lead you in these last and evil days is awaiting for you. Now, if you need prayer, we want to join with you in prayer. We want to partner with you in prayer and praise. So call us with your prayer requests and your praise reports. We want to partner with you. So before I go, I want to also remind you that if you want to donate to the ministry, then do so, please, at dollar sign Frank Costin, dollar sign F-R-A-N-K-C-O-S-T-O-N. Can we pray together? Can we pray before we leave today? Remember the challenge. We're going to read a chapter a day. But can we pray together right now? Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I want to pray for every viewer. I want to pray for every listener. I pray, God, that the first four tools that we've talked about, God, and this five-part series, Terrain Denial, I pray, God, that they're being applied in their life and they're using them and finding out that the enemy can't set weapons up against them when they're constantly praising you, when they're constantly praying, when they're setting time apart to fast, and when they're studying and applying your word to their life. God, the enemy has no way of entering to get into their, their line of defense, God, because your angels of mercy 
are camped out about them. I pray the protection of God on each and every one right now that is listening right now. If they can hear my voice, even if they're just passing by someone that is playing the episode, if they can hear my voice, I pray and believe, God, that you will touch them right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Listen, tell a friend. Tell a family member, share this information. Let them know that wild moment is here. We're not trying to replace your church home. We just want to be friends with you in Jesus' name. We want to be brothers and sisters together in the kingdom of God. We just want to bring you here at this old table here and share the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ with you. We love you. God loves you. And until we see each other next week, God bless you, my brothers. God bless you, my sisters. Uh, In Jesus' name, go in peace and have a blessed week. Thank you for tuning in to tonight's episode of Wow Moment with Frank Costin. We hope that you were blessed by this message. Please remember to subscribe and click the notification bell on YouTube. Like us on Facebook and listen to us on podcasts at Spotify, Google Podcasts, Anchor, Overcast, Pocket Cast, Breaker, and Radio Plus. We want to interact with you, so please leave us a comment, prayer request, and a praise report. If you are looking for a church home, we will help you with that as well. We would love to have you as part of this ministry. There are three ways to become a partner. One, subscribe to our channel. Two, Share our link with at least three family members and three friends. Three, you can also partner by making a donation via cash app at dollar sign Frank Costin. We look forward to joining you again with another encouraging message. Until then, God loves you and so do we.